that just looks like it's ready to snap at any second. But the job I'm going to be doing today, potting up my aloe vera baby plants, or pups I think they're called, isn't it? So I actually went and got some proper cacti and succulent potting mix, which I don't normally use when I'm growing aloe vera. I've always grown my aloe vera in just normal multi-purpose compost. So I'm interested to see how well they grow in the proper stuff. So I've just got three old tubs, whatever they were used for originally, I can't remember. I'm just going to stick in some compost. This nice new stuff. This way it's going to go everywhere, isn't it? Not too bad. Very fine, this feels quite... I was going to say sandy, but it feels like there's a lot of... You know the coir stuff? It feels like there's a lot of that. Gently press it down a bit. Not so that it's compacted, just so that it's not got a lot of air pockets. Let's make a wee hole in the middle. Like that. I always say the best tool in gardening is your hands. And I've got, got this little pup. I'm just going to pop in here. I'm just going to put the soil around him to hold him in place until he starts rooting. Then I'm going to do the other two and then we'll give them a little drink. And hopefully they'll grow their own roots and take off. Three happy little aloe vera plants. Although they are of the cactus family and a lot of people think, well that means I don't need to water them. That means they can survive without water. It doesn't mean they have to. I do water my aloe vera and they grow very well. This is in the northeast of Scotland on a windowsill. I have huge aloe vera. And here they are, a nice little aloe vera family with the one in the black tub there. That's one I did ages ago. Growing very happily as you can see and roots just starting to come out the bottom see how they're getting potted up soon but i like to keep them in these trays they're old food trays and i prefer that because in future i'm going to water them from the bottom straight into the tray and they're right next to the big one and just as a matter of interest for you here's another plant that i grew from a cutting in exactly the same way another succulent they did the same. If you have these, you will see eventually like little pups again growing out the side. I don't think this one has any at the moment. No. But you just detach them, let them dry out for a day or two, and then pot them up, and you can grow more plants for free. So this is the mummy plant, the aloe vera, and from there it's big. You can see it's big. It's leaning over, but look. I go back a wee bit, that just looks like it's ready to snap at any second. And I've got it in as big a pot as I can get. So I'm not sure what's going to happen to this one. More and more leaves are coming in the middle. That's where all the new growth comes from, is in the middle. You can see the smaller ones in there. So I'm not sure how much longer this one's going to grow until it just completely topples over. The baby plants, the pups, were all just poking out of here and you can see the holes. I actually dug down a wee bit and then pulled them out and I left them sitting here. It's... Don't ask. <laughs> I left them sitting on the soil just to dry out for a little bit, a couple of days, and now it's time to pot them up. 